usual. Oh, have mercy. At least he didn't tell us to take the bus. If you're not ready in five minutes, you're taking the bus. Kids, are you ready? Come on. Get a set. Are you ready? Richie, why did you spill grape juice all over your... That's red orange juice. Come on, listen. Listen, baby, every time we get paid, somebody going to mess up and do something. Come on, look at this. older we well uh... oh stop i got pantyhose older than you <laughs> where is everyone getting ready for church oh uh... what's the matter well i guess i'm just jealous that's all how come well, it's just that every Sunday I watch you Winslows put put off the church in your grave. <laughs> and, well, I wish I could tag along. Doesn't your family go to church? Oh, no. My parents' Sunday routine hasn't varied since they were here. You see, we all get up at dawn and do the New York Times crossword puzzle. And ink. <laughs> then we hop on over to the behavioral sciences lab soaking the sensory deprivation tank. <laughs> well, now, Steve. You are more than welcome to come to church with us. And you can sit right next to me. <laughs> with you? Will do. <laughs> Maybe I didn't make myself clear. Church, let's go now! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Good news, Steve is coming with us. <laughs> come on, Judy, change the dress. Okay. I guess I'm <laughs> shout out amen or hallelujah oh thanks for telling me i was just about to start the wave <laughs> my 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 the walls of this old church are vibrating with good music today yeah. Yeah. amen the choir sounds so fine that even the angels at our stained glass windows are moving to the beat hallelujah, hallelujah. now as you all know oh. Carry on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Sister Frampel, our former choir director, has decided to pursue her musical career full time. Yeah. Singing back up to ZZ Top. <laughs> our new choir director will be Sir Rachel Cross. Yes! 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 <laughs> I'll think about it and get back to you. Uh, the, the, <laughs> two weeks away. I accept. And I promise that this year's Gospel Sunday will be the most fun day. Excellent. Now, I will lead this choir to new heights of perfection. I publicly pledge in front of this entire congregation that I will leave no stone Mr. unturned. Parker, yeah? We get the picture. <laughs> I look out upon the congregation. It makes me feel happy to see a few new faces. Yeah. So if anyone feels the need to speak, heart, stand up and testify. Oh, 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 Young man, oh, oh, oh. I take it you have something to say. Yes, your pastor ship. <laughs> pastor people, regular people. Name is Stephen Q. Urkel. Now, before today, I felt like there was something missing in my life. Now I know it seemed everything going for me. Oh. Intelligence, killer good looks, and a wonderful woman who's wild about me. Sorry. <laughs> but today I've learned that those things were merely foolish pride. Amen. <laughs> Attempts to cover the emptiness in
in my soul. Oh, yes. Not unlike the way the good pastor here tries to cover the baldness of his head with that mail order rug. <laughs> it's about time somebody pointed that out. I was looking for love, Karen, and joy. Well, chock full of those things. Yeah. So, I'm happy to say that a few minutes ago, I opened my heart and more again. Well, amen! Say, uh, after choir rehearsal, you, me, move. You, me, never. <laughs> Eddie, you couldn't pick up a girl if she had handles. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Carl. What's in the box? Oh, um, just a hat. Is that a present for Ray? Maybe, maybe not. Are you trying to get the big solo? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Carl Winslow, you're sucking up. Oh? When a sneaky, underhanded, and dishonest. Hi, Harriet. Hey, thanks for the new necklace. It must have cost you a fortune. <laughs> All right, everyone, coffee break is over. Can we take our places, please? Oh, Rachel, Rachel, un momento, si vous plaît. Steve, what are you doing here? Well, I'd like to join the choir if it's okay with you, Rachel. Well, I suppose. Why don't you squeeze in there with the tennis? Oh, Hey, hang way, hang way. I'll go around, I'll go around. New guy, new guy. Okay, everyone, we'll start with Oh Happy Day. Oh Happy Day. Oh Happy Day. My Jesus, what? Hold it, hold it. Sounds like a hyena hoot nanny. Uh, Steve, perhaps I was a little hasty. Why don't you step forward and sing for me? Oh, certainly. Sorry. Oh, Happy Day. <laughs> It's not a happy day, Steve. <laughs> Honey, you're way off key. Let's see if a pitch pipe will help you, okay? Let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Steve, you're not listening, honey. Listen to it. <laughs> Listen to it. <laughs> We have a major problem here. Maybe you could come back when your voice has changed. It already did. <laughs> Steve, I'm sorry, but Gospel Sunday is very important, and I just can't let you be in the choir. Oh, Rachel, 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 Rachel. He just jumped. Yeah. Excuse me, but will everyone who is directing this choir please raise their baton? <laughs> well, that's settled. Now, Steve. Your hymn, no, please. Okay. rehearsing this song for six hours, but it's losing its freshness. Get up. Marge. Yes? Sister, sing from your diaphragm. Not your sinuses. And Brother Spencer, slap some polygrip on those choppers. You sound like a pair of castanets. Rachel, zip it, Harriet. You gotta work. Okay, now, once more, and this time, see if you can follow my baton. <laughs> oh, tell it on the mountain, all around the hills and everywhere. Oh, tell it on the mountain, tell it on the mountain. Oh, 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 tell it on the
Ride Solo. 86 that too. Mm. <laughs> Rachel, you can't do that. I bought you a hat. I do whatever I want, Mr. Winslow, because I am the choir director. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Problem? <laughs> if Carl not who is. Well, <clears throat> I am. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> now look. Marge and I have the best, so I flipped the coin, and I won. Oh, hey, now look. I am in charge here. That is why I have the baton. Yeah, it's just not there. <laughs> now you have two. <laughs> you going with my hat? Come back here. Right now. So good at checkers. Practice. Fortunately, when I was young, I had no friends. <laughs> Steve, did you tell your parents that you were? Oh, yeah. How'd they take it? Oh, not too good. My father said, Stephen, stop this church nonsense and rejoin your mother and me in the sensory deprivation. <laughs> and I said, tanks? No tanks. <laughs> well, it's probably be. No, philosophical disagreement. You see, my father demanded to know how, with my scientific training, I could believe in God. After all, I can't touch, see, or feel. And I pointed out that I can't touch, see, or feel an atom either, but I believe it exists. You're right. That's what we call faith. Hi. Oh, hi, sugar. Where is everybody? They went out to dinner. Why didn't you go? Well, I drew straws to find out who would stay to have a little heart-to-heart -heart talk with you. And you won. One loss, what's the difference? <laughs> Rachel, sit over here, sweetheart. Rachel, you know how you my director? Yes. Well, uh, knock it off. <laughs> Excuse me? The good Lord doesn't care if his praises are sung off key. As long as it's sung straight from the heart. You're right. And Steve, I shouldn't have kicked you out of the choir. Ah, look on the bright side. You just sing later on with all the others. <laughs> I guess I had that coming. Oh, I really messed up. Two days and the choir won't even talk to me. Well, apologize to them. Maybe they'll forgive you. <sighs> Not after the way I acted. Rachel, you came in. Steve and I were discussing faith. It seems to me you should apologize to the choir and have faith they will forgive you. But what if they don't forgive me? Then you'll have to leave town. <laughs> We're not going to do that today. <laughs> Gospel says plans got changed. Things got switched. Uh, people had obligations. Pastor people. Yes, Rachel. <laughs> if I may, I think the congregation deserves to hear the truth. Please. Folks, the reason Gospel Sunday was canceled is because the choir quit. And the reason the choir quit was because the moment I became choir director, I started acting like a jerk. Amen. I got a swelled head and I, I started picking on people and just bossing everyone around. And I just hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. Rachel. 
Put your hand in the hand of the man who steal the water. Put hand in the hand of the man that come to see. Putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Put your hand in the hand of the man who steals the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man from the sea. Take a good look at yourself. Look at others differently. By putting your hands in the hands of the man. for the job. find out that I through the robbery of my own home I'll be a laughing stock. Wait a minute. My parents tried this once. Tried what? Dina, you're not telling me. Finally, but don't worry, Sleeping Beauty. Someday your prince will come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute, Al. Real cute. <laughs> Be a long time before you make sergeant. Uh. So, Rip Van Winslow. <laughs> I'm almost finished with this robbery report. Can you give me a description of the perpetrators? I forgot. You were asleep. <laughs> Sorry to press you, Winslow, but I gotta get this info before you doze off again. <laughs> okay. Make your little jest at my expense. But I will have the last laugh. And do you know why I will have the last laugh? So well rested? <laughs> Hear me and remember. I will furniture. I will track down the low life or low lifes who dare do this dirty deed to me. 
and they will pay. And our officers <laughs> will say, hey, Sarge, you are one heck of a cop. And they will circle around me in a nut of admiration. <laughs> Winslow? I've misjudged you. You're not the kind of guy who takes right. No, sirree. You're the kind of guy who lies down while other people take things. <laughs> <laughs> The study questions. Number one, define inert gas. Man, I don't have a clue. Me neither. <laughs> but once my father had it so bad, he had to go to the hospital. Hi, guys. I'm glad to see you. Really? Well, you may find this hard to believe, Edo, but that's the first time in my entire life I've ever heard that phrase. <laughs> We're studying for the big chemistry exam tomorrow. Oh, good. No, it isn't. I'm way behind. I'm gonna flunk big time. Oh, don't, buddy. I'll be your study buddy. <laughs> I might not still flunk. I'm a dead man. Unless. Unless what? Unless may help me. Well, I just told you, Edo. Me noggin' and Sue noggin'. No, what I meant is maybe you could bring the test. <gasps> Cheating? Shh. I prefer to call it sharing. Wald. <laughs> Why are you upset, Waldo? Cheating is wrong, Eddie, and you should know that. I make it out, I, I earn them. <laughs> see the day when I actually agreed with Waldo Geraldo. <laughs> now, Edo, I want you to forget this cheating nonsense post pronto. But why? Edo, cheating is like wearing your grandmother's... <laughs> sure, it may cover your hiney, but if you make a habit of it, you've got a serious problem. <laughs> but it won't become a... Help me just this once, and I promise from now on I'll actually study. Ah, uh, nope, no way. Sorry, ain't gonna happen. Steve, I have nowhere else to turn. You come through for me, please. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Yes! But one time, and only on one condition. Anything. You have to promise to study chemistry day until you're caught up. You got it. Thanks, Steve. Now we need a plan. Hey, here's one. How about you give me the answers? Clever, but will it work? <laughs> Wait a minute. The test is multiple choice. Mm -hmm. huh, so we'll need a secret code. Mm. A way of communicating that will appear to be normal. Uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, I've got it. <laughs> if the answer is A, I'll sneeze. Huh? Ah <laughs> if the answer is B, I'll subtly cough. <laughs> and if the answer is... <laughs> It will appear that I merely have the common code. Mm. Steve, you are a genius. <laughs> then why do I feel so dirty? <laughs> oh, Waldo, I've come down with this awful cold. Thanks, let's go. Huh? All right, I put the tests on your desk face down. Now, no one turn them over until it's... Nice of you to join us, Mr. Winslow. Uh, sorry I'm so late, sir, but I was studying real hard. Well, glad to hear it. Sit down. <laughs> Mr. Urkel, have you sprung... Uh, no, sir. Sorry, sir. All right, turn your papers over. We have 14 now. Oh. 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 
Ah. Mr. Urkel, are we having a problem controlling our bodily fear? Uh, well, well, I, I certainly am, sir. I, I woke up this morning with a cold. Bring it into us for show and tell. Good one. <laughs> oh. See, good cover. I'm not covering it out. I really did wake up this morning with a cold. No talking. <laughs> Steve, please help. Give me the answers to the test. What might this be, Mr. Well, this looks like the answers to the test. 1A, 2C, 3B. Cut that out! <laughs> well, Mr. Whom were you helping to cheat? I'm waiting. I want you to go straight to the principal's office and give him one good reason why he shouldn't expel you for cheating. I'm home, Harriet. And the subject is closed. So you did. Great. Look what you've gone and done. You've gone and opened up the subject. Carl, I'm tired. My butt's starting to look like the top of a cherry pie. Harriet, this 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 whole thing is starting to get to me. I'm I'm, I'm oh. starting to doubt. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I, I can't believe I slept through the whole robbery. This is not like me. I'm a light sleeper. I got the reflexes of a jungle cat. <laughs> That's true, Carl. You know, I remember when the kids were little and needed thing. You were the first one to wake up and say, Harry, get up and feed the kids. <laughs> so, but your ugly, guilty mug down to the principal's office and come clean? Hadn't planned on it. Well, why not? Laura, one person is already in trouble. If I confess, two people will be in trouble. All that does is put more people in trouble. I wouldn't be able to live with that. Eddie, you forced Steve to cheat. And now when he needs you, you leave him high and dry. And it's about time you return the favor. God, I love you. <laughs> You're right. This whole thing is my fault. And tomorrow morning, I'll go down to Principal Shimada and I'll tell him the truth. Thanks, Edo. I think it'd come through. Shh. A little shot of this gas? Winslow will be sleeping like a baby. Why in place twice? I thought we got everything. Humiliation, my dim-witted friend. Carl Winslow nailed me at the peak of my career. You should have seen me, Ned. I was slick and sinewy. I could slip through a house like thread through the eye of a needle. Homes were a lot bigger, huh? <laughs> Ned, come here. Ow! 
Winslow ruined my life. You know what 12 long years in a federal penitentiary can do to a man? Turn him into a twisted, demented sociopath like yourself? Hey, I was a legend once, and I could be a legend again. You stick with me, Ned? One day, they'll write a song about us. Gee, I hope it's not rap. I hate rap. <laughs> Dad, can we talk to you for a minute? Sure. Sit down. Make yourselves uncomfortable. <laughs> What's up? Great story. All you'll hear from me is an occasional mm-hmm, that's right. That's enough, Steve. Mm-hmm, that's right. Dad, I did something really stupid at school, and I'm gonna get in trouble for it. So I thought I should let you know about it before you get a call from the principal. Uh, that sounds serious. What'd you do? Well, I... I... <sighs> my test. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you cheated? There. You cheated? <laughs> yes, sir. I can't remember the last time I've been so angry. And sleepy. I'm sleepy too. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> Don't try anything, otherwise you'll get another taste of my shovel. Take it easy, I'm a bleeder. <laughs> you cheated? You're grounded. <laughs> Trebium 158.92 TB. Dysprosium 1 ODY. This pro. This. Man, this. This stinks. <laughs> Can we take a break with this chemistry stuff? Negatory. We have to be able to recite the periodic table of the elements before Mr. Shimada will lift our suspension. And I want to get back to school. I simply crave academic. <laughs> now, where were we? Ah, hold, ma'am. My personal fave. 164.93. 169. Point, uh, something. No! Yeah, 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 okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, put it right down there. Look, yeah, to the left a little bit. Yeah, right there. Drop it. That's it. Okay. Oh. Gee. That looked heavy. I won't display spotless by the time your father gets back from the airport with your cousin. Mom, Clarence is a teenager like me. We're comfortable with clutter. I know. I... You know, it's been too long since Clarence visited us. He's the best. He was one cute child. Like me? She said cute, not goofy. Like... You're just jealous because your cute days are over. You know, Clarence is probably a babe man like moi. When it came to looks, God smiled on the man. God wasn't smiling, he just had gas. <laughs> A little angel. I wonder what he's like now. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, hi. Dad. Hi. hi, honey. Yo, check out the Partridge family. <laughs> What's for dinner? Milk and cookies. <laughs> Uh, Clarence, I'd like you to meet your cousins, Judy and Richie. Prince. And you know my mother, Estelle. Hello, Clarence. And you remember Laura, Rachel, and Eddie. Hi. <laughs> Yo, by the way, nobody's. It's Easy C. Yo, Easy C, what's up? Yo, Ski Broski. <laughs> I, I mean, Easy C. How is your flight ski, bright ski? <laughs> Stupid. Excuse me? Stupid. Oh, yeah. So how's the weather back in Detroit? Ew. 
What's the matter? You're not feeling well. Harriet, huh? Ill means... Oh. Oh. Well, you, you certainly have turned out to be a handsome young man. Word. <laughs> he says you're telling the truth. Uh -huh. oh. You guys ought to get out more. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, easy. You're gonna crash in my room. There you are. X, Y, Z. Clarence sure has changed. Yes, and not for the better. At the airport, he picked up six suitcases. So? Well, Clarence's mom is having a tough time. Helen says that she thinks he's falling in with the wrong crowd and she feels like some time away will do him some good. Clarence, let's try to be patient. Yeah, word ski, broski in law. Don't ill, take a chill pill. <laughs> no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> that noise? Sounds like... Red alert! Oh, my killer being stuck. You know, we might want to close that window. This is my cousin, Easy C. Oh, I'm Steve Urkel. Yo, Ski Broski. Oh, howdy doody. Yo, you a serious little nerd. No, I am a serious little nerd. You see, I use verbs. Verbs are our friends. They help move along our sentences. Yo, E-Man, Chicago got any women? Oh, yeah. I know all the babes. They can't keep their hands off me. <laughs> That's true. And I've been slapping more time. You got any wheels? Oh, well, oh. Ooh, I got a boss three-speed with a banana seat and a sissy bar. <laughs> Problem easy. I can always borrow my dad's car. That hoopty he drove me back from the airport in? Oh, well, that's all we have. All right, get it for tomorrow nighties. What? Hotties? Hotties and a hoopty? <laughs> Five! <laughs> Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a hottie and a hoopty. Yo, I gotta go check out the hood. Hey, I'll go with you. Man, I don't need no chaperone. Oh, shoot. I'm down in my lap. Hey, man, you think you could spot me at 20? Oh, man, I only have 10. That's cool. You can owe me the rest. <laughs> ABC, ya. Peace in the Middle East. Rain in Spain. <laughs> Is he cool or what? Oh, sure, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, no, my bees are back. Winslow, thank you so much for babysitting for us again tonight. Oh, you're welcome. Glad to do it. <laughs> of a saint. You've been sitting there for hours helping the kids put that puzzle together. That has nothing to do with patience. There was gum on the jail. I'm stuck. <laughs> so, what are you guys going to see at the dinner theater? Bye bye, Birdie. More like Hello Rubber Chicken. <laughs> Does it help flick out that noble chin? Wipe off that full of doubt look. Slap on a happy grin. <laughs> Spread sunshine over the place. Just put on a happy face. Now I've got a happy face. I'm living in a cultural vacuum. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Ooh, looking good, fellas. What are you up to tonight? We gonna cruise the hood shot, check out the hottie shot, you know. Hey, well, we going to a theater, bang, gonna get some chop, boom, and then we gonna dig some vibes, kablooey. Rachel, come over here and sit in my chair. Hey, Dad, can Clarence and I borrow the car tonight? No can do. Aunt and your mother are dragging me to the theater. Besides, didn't I tell you last night that you couldn't use the car? Yeah, but we really need it. We going cruising for chicks. <laughs> oh, <exactly. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. But then how 
possibly supposed to pick up babes? Do what your father used to bust and beg. Hey, it works. Yo, this is whack. Your pops won't even let us use his gremlin. Yo, but who, you have an old car, you get an old woman. Well, a buddy of mine has a pickup truck, and maybe he'll let us ride in the back. Wow, maybe we can get some cows and chickens. <laughs> Sorry. Word, I got to do everything around here. Yo, I'll get us a ride. And yo, E-Man, if you're gonna hang with me, you better get with the program. Where's your rooting on what? He took off on his own. Oh, good. Hey, let's you and me go to the observatory. It's BYOB night. Bring your own binoculars. Yo, e man Ready to roll? You got a car? Did I get a car? Yo, check it out. Hey, what's he talking about? Where's he going? Huh? 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 <laughs> Yowzer! Yeah. Top. Man, that baby's gorgeous. Yeah, and it's fully loaded. Surprise! Hooters! <laughs> That's hottie, Steve. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yo, yo, this ride is hype. We'll be cruising in style. Yeah. Where'd you get the girls? At a bus stop. <laughs> We're taking them eventually. Hi, I'm E-Man. I'm Anisha. Mm. And I'm Halana. Mm. <laughs> and I'm appalled. Yo, chill out. They're sensitive. They're easy. Where did you get this car from? And don't you tell me Detroit. <laughs> I use the world-famous Easy C Valley parking scan. Put on a red jacket of a fancy restaurant, and bam! You got yourself a serious ride. And bam! You got yourself ten years in the slammer. You stole, stole, borrowed. Look, the dude goes in to eat, we joy ride for two hours. When the dude comes out the restaurant, we have it parked at the curb. Pop it off, he gives us a two dollar tip. I don't know, man. Don't do it at all. Listen to that little voice echoing inside of you. It's wrong. It's wrong. wrong, wrong. Yo, home nerd. Chill. Look at those girls, Steve. They're real pretty. And I'm so lonely. <laughs> What's it gonna be, E-Man? <laughs> I'm getting in that car, Steve. Oh, no, and I'll, and I'll... What the same hell are you doing? You're coming with us. That way you can't squeal. Don't, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you rough in and hand me a cup of the consequences. <laughs> Let the record show that I am being forcibly abducted and you hotties are witnesses. Why, look, go! Oh, as sure as the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, this is a ride to damnation! Dude, will you relax? Clarence has everything under control. Besides this little joy ride, what could go wrong? <laughs> Get yourself on what side of the story? She's got a point, Dad. Any side? Harry, and he stole a car. He has no side. He's got a point, Mom. <laughs> All right, inside, you two. Come on. Keep it moving, Mr. Backwards Hat. <laughs> Winslow. Ma'am. Little ma'am. <laughs> Hello, Lieutenant. Thank you for bringing them home. Sure, sure. I dropped the uh, nerd off next door at the uh, nerd house. His parents were very upset. Why? Because he was... Oh, because I brought him back. Ah. <laughs> Listen, I had a little chat with the owner of the stolen vehicle. He's willing to drop... Thank goodness. Thank you, Lieutenant. I owe you one. Yeah. And it's a really big one, too. <laughs> Good night, Sergeant. Little ma'am. Punk? (laughs) 
All right, easy, see? Let me... I'll talk to Clarence. If you're gonna kill somebody, it should be a close relative. You, kitchen. Ben. That's right. So what do you have to say for yourself? I'm surprised. I have a whole lot to say. You know what really bothers me, Clarence? You took Eddie and Steve with me. Now, if you want to mess up your life, then that's your problem. But when you mess with me and mine, you're in big trouble. Dagger in here with your cigarettes and your arrogant attitude. And you think you so cool. Well, let me tell you something. You're not cool, Clarence. Cool is respecting yourself and the people that care about you. Cool is knowing the difference between right and wrong. Make a mistake, having the courage to admit to it. That's what cool is, Clarence. <laughs> Clarence, are you sorry about any of this? Yeah, I'm sorry I got caught. Okay. I've given you every opportunity. Get upstairs and pack your bags, you're going home. What? You bluffing. No, I'm not. Get upstairs and get your stuff, Clarence. I'll call your mother and tell her you're on the way. Fine. I'll need you, cousin. Edward, I can't, of all the stupid, I, I just can't. Go ahead, Dad. I deserve it. Yes, you do. Believe what I did. It was like, who is that person? I actually let Clarence convince me that we were only borrowing that car. Well, well it wasn't borrowing. It was stealing. <laughs> Dad, I thought Clarence was so cool. <laughs> yeah, well. But he's not just, cool. I mean, nobody looks cool in handcuffs. You're right. Now, Edward, if you I just... myself. <laughs> I let myself down. And worst of all, well, that's right. <laughs> Thanks for the lecture, Dad. I really learned my lesson. Well, I'm sorry I had to be so rough on you. <laughs> hey, I deserved it. Hold it. <laughs> We're not through yet. There's more? Oh, much more. Uh-oh. Tell me? Mm, no, no. You'll be going out a lot. I will? Oh, that's right, Mr. Loves to Drive. <laughs> You're going to be volunteering your every Saturday for the next entire year for the Meals on Wheels program. Every Saturday? Rain or shine, starting bright and early, 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. But that's only five hours from now. Well, you better get some rest then. <laughs> How'd it go with Clarence? It didn't. Carly was like talking to a brick wall. We're gonna have to send him home. How could Eddie do something like that? Well, honey, he was up against some powerful temptation. Fancy cars and pretty girls. He wanted to look cool. Those things are hard to resist. You're right. I think he knows what he did was wrong. And he's genuinely sorry that he did it. And that's something to be grateful for. I guess we did a few things right. Sweetheart, Edward is a good kid. We did a lot of things right. Steve. Oh, I'm so ashamed. I've been in jail. I'm an ex-con. Get a grip, Steve. I can't. Do you know how long it's been? About an hour? Oh, kiss me, Laura. Remind me I'm a man. I got a better idea. Why don't I remind you where the door is? Oh, it's so good to be back. Oh, let me tell you, Laura. 
I have been scared straight. I met a with a tattoo of a battleship. So? It was on his time. <laughs> ah! I'm busy, so I don't have time for you to... Don't sweat, my pet. I'm here to pester your pop. Now, where is the big log? I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. I was hoping I could say the same thing about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you crack me up. Now, listen. I could use some advice. Oh. <laughs> Never sit in a chair backwards. No, no, no. I... I done something that might upset your dad. Just a tad. You didn't have his boxer shorts, did you? No, my parents finally popped for a real movie screen. <laughs> what I need from you is advice to your father. Well, just come right out with it. It only annoys him if you beat around the bush. Gotcha. No bush beating. Unless, unless he then steer clear. Make yourself scarce. No, sirree. Why it's the coward's way out? I've been a mistake, and I'm going to fess up to it like a man. Hey, Dad. Yeah. What's the matter? The dentist just gave me a root canal. You want? Oh. Oops. Ciao. time we go to a clearance sale, we get yelled line for hours, we get shoved, we get pushed, and all to save three dollars on a sweater. Fun, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> I love it! Hi, sweetie. Hi, How are you doing? Hi. Hey, what's all this? Well, I sat down to add these pictures to the family photo, and then I started looking at the old ones. <gasps> that was three hours ago. <laughs> Ooh, look at this old picture. Who's that? Uh... Reverend Shaw or my bookie. <laughs> they both had shifty eyes. <laughs> oh, look. Carl takes his first <gasps> steps. Yep, straight to the refrigerator. Oh, stop it. <laughs> you know, some of these photos... Long, long way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. You know, I realized today that a lot of our family history will be lost when I die. Oh, come on now. Long, long time. Well, I hope you're right. <laughs> But still, I'd like to sit the kids down and tell them about our family. Oh, I think that's a terrific idea. Me too. Children should know where they come from. Oh, Ooh. hey, look. He is fine. <laughs> I know. That's why I married him. <laughs> <laughs> something sure. what's up okay. well i want us to go through this photo album and talk about our family history gotta go See <laughs> uh -huh. i might have to rethink my strategy <laughs> oh where are my little way of sunshine what do you want steve your hand in marriage and 2.3 children 
But in the meantime, I'd like to talk to Carl. Is he in a better mood? Oh, he's cheer way up. Oh, goody gum dessert. It's risky to talk to him when he's in a bad mood, but it's suicidal to interrupt him while he's having chocolate milk and s'mores. Oh, dear. I'll well, see you later. Wait, Laura. He took the time to warn me. So? So you love me, don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, Mama. Hello, Edward. How was your study day? Um, what you wanted to do was study. <laughs> History? Yeah, we're studying World War II. Boring. Oh, not for the people who went through. Listen, Edward. I'm a little disappointed in you. Uh-oh. What did I do now? Well, earlier tonight, your grandmother was trying to talk to you and you ran out on her. Mom, the other kids did, too. Well, Mom, the other kids did, too. <laughs> Edward, you're the oldest. You're a good example. If you had listened to your grandmother, the other kids would have followed your lead. Mom, the other kids feel exactly the same way I do. If we want to learn something about the past, we just watch the one. <laughs> Steve, you scared. King. Go home, Steve. No can do, big guy. You and I need to talk. Oh, all right. What? Do you remember a few months ago when you brought home the brochure for the prison pen pal program? Sure, PPPP. Well, it, it seemed like I'd get, so I picked out a name and started writing letters. Well, good for you, Steve. What name did you pick? Well, one name just leaped right out at me. El Marita Pucker. Whoa. That name would leap out at anybody. Well, at first our letters were enlightened and friendly. But then... Uh, then? Well, El Marita's prose became flowery and rather intimate. <laughs> Uh-oh. The, the big uh-oh. I realized too late that El Marita had fallen in love with me. <laughs> <laughs> A woman in prison fell in love with you? That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it is. <laughs> you know, I wrote back several times assuring her that the feeling wasn't mutual, but she just thought I was playing hard again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now here's the really funny part. El Marita begged me to send her a picture of myself. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but here's the funniest part of all. Oh, you're going to love this one, big guy. <laughs> oh, I sent her a picture of you. <laughs> You shouldn't have done that, Steve. Well, I know, and I'm really sorry. Well, <laughs> that's no biggie. After all, prison. No harm done. <laughs> well... <laughs> well, what? She might be getting out soon. How soon? <laughs> Real soon. sail you right into the sunset. Oh, uh, but, uh, my, my name is uh, 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 Carl Winslow. That's fine. You can call yourself whatever you want. But when the lights go out, it's going to be, oh, baby. Isn't she, big guy? Well, who are you? 
Uh, well, uh, ma'am, there's a fascinating story about that. Run along, Sonny. Uh, no, he's gonna stay. Uh, Steve, would you please tell Miss Puckerwood exactly what is going on here? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, you see, I wrote the I'm Stephen Q. Urkel. I don't believe that for one red hot second. Oh, oh, oh no, it's true. You see, <laughs> you see, <laughs> he sent you my picture. <laughs> oh, then you're the one I fell in love with. <laughs> I've been in seven years. And you look close to what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's nothing that's going to happen between us. <laughs> what? Ah! Time out. Time out. Uh, Carl and I need to have a brief ride back. Well, what is it, Steve? Oh, oh, Carl, you need to be real careful how you handle El Marie. Well, I know that. Uh huh, but what you don't know is why she was in prison. Uh, well, 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 why? She shot a man who turned her down. <laughs> Don't you should know that. Oh, <laughs> <Now>, Marita. <laughs> yes? You know, you... You are a stunning woman. You noticed. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, and I also noticed that when the, when the light... Hits your face from a certain angle, <laughs> you look exactly like Diana Ross. <laughs> what kind of undiscovered angle is that, Carl? <laughs> Diana Ross, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Touch me in the morning. <laughs> Gosh, there's nothing I'd like better. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm a married man. You are? <laughs> Happily married? Oh, yes, very happy. Very, very, very happy. On my oven, if you wasn't ready to cook. <laughs> well, it, it, it's all been a terrible, tragic mix up. Right, Steve? Oh, a terrible. <laughs> now, Marita, I, I'd like to help you get a fresh start. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know some companies who may be hiring ex cons. You mean you can get me a job? Well, I, do you have a place to stay? Well, no, but I was, uh, huh, planning on bunking up with you, baby. <laughs> well, I know there's a halfway house right nearby here. Folks, we're halfway there. <laughs> Bye now, Marita. Hey, and don't forget to ride. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want to fool around? I'm real tempted, El Marita. <laughs> but I, I just can't do it. Okay, but it's for your information... I got a full body tattoo of the United States. <laughs> and I was going to argue for lesson you'd never forget. <laughs> Sucker. World War II. Open your books to page 189. Walter, would you please read the chapter heading? Out loud. <laughs> oh, cool. The fighter pilot. Thank you. Hey, I'm here from two to three every day. <laughs> Today we're going to learn a little about the role fighter pilots played in the Second World War. All right. But you can put away the guest speaker. <laughs> First, a question. How many of you have relatives who fought in World War II? Doesn't matter which side. <laughs> Not really? Good, because my uncle accidentally joined the Italian army. <laughs> Eddie, how about you? Any relatives who fought in... Um, I really don't know. In that case, I want you to pay extra close attention. Class? Please welcome Estelle Winslow. Probably looks like your grandma. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. 
Now, I'd like to talk to you about the... Does anyone here know who they were? Eddie? <laughs> uh, no. The Tuskegee Airmen were black pilots who fought during World War II. That's right. The armed services were segregated, so they had to form their own unit. Lice, please. They became the 332nd Fighter Group of the Army Air Corps. And my husband, Sam Winslow, was one of them. Your grandfather was a fighter pilot? Well, uh, yeah. Sure, baby. <laughs> There's a lot of him. <laughs> this is Sam's fighter, a single-engine P-47 he called the Brown Bombshell. <laughs> he named it after me. Boys, that's enough. Oh, that's okay. Let the boys express themselves. <laughs> in the war, the pilots of the 332nd Fighter Group flew more than 15,000 missions. 200 of those were as heavy bomber escort Germany. Not one bomber was lost to enemy fighter opposition. They were the only group to have that record. Eddie, yeah, your grandmother's pretty cool. Yeah, she sure is. Oh, no. You should have seen her. Grandma was incredible. The bell rang and nobody left. Oh, you <laughs> have a top-notch storyteller. <laughs> oh, what can I say? I'm gifted. <laughs> but I want you to give your mother credit, too. It was her idea that I go to your class. Hey, Ma, why'd you waste such a cool idea on Eddie? I lost my head. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I can't talk now. I'm cooking breakfast. No, you're not invited. It's just for the family. <laughs> Steve, stop begging. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. This is the first time I've ever cooked a whole meal before, and if I don't pay close attention, my beautiful... Smoke! My food's on fire! <laughs> Steve. Now I'm going to give you a compliment, but it's only a compliment and it doesn't more than that. Oh, I understand. <laughs> you did good. You love me, don't you? <laughs> Smell cinnamon flavored smoke. Well, you see, we have a small gastronomic goof of minor Betty Crocker boo boo. Laura, translate. Breakfast, and it came out a wee big crispy. <laughs> Laura, this oven is on 550. You said to cook it at 275 for 20 minutes. So I figured if I doubled the temperature, I could cook it at half the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's one for the books. Oh! <laughs> How can a girl so smart do something so, so, so long? <laughs> I'm almost re fire. Laura, you've never shown interest in cooking before. The closest you've ever come is picking up the phone and ordering a pizza. <laughs> I'm I learn how to cook. When I go away to college, I'll be away from home for four long years. And I might get hungry. <laughs> Could happen. No, I think I'll take a home ec class. Why? I'll teach you how to cook. No, thank you. <laughs> Why not? Uh, well, mommy the most patient teacher. What do you mean? <sighs> well, do you remember when you tried to teach me how to sew? You made me so nervous I had to go to the hospital to get the... <laughs> well, on second thought, maybe home ec is the way to go. 
<laughs> and we are now entering the residence of one of Chicago's finest, Police Sergeant Carl Winslow. And look, here's the spot where Police Sergeant went after a hard day of fighting crime. <laughs> Why, look, there's Police Sergeant Winslow's mommy. Why, look. Here's my lunatic son. My son. <laughs> Camera bought at the police auction today. Now we can video stations. Well, it's about time you pop for something like this. How long did it take you to crowbar your wallet open? <laughs> Very funny. I want you to spread the word. No one, but no one is to touch this baby but me. I'm the only one with the skill to handle it. Then you won't be in any of the family videos. Oh, baby has a remote. I'll be in all the videos. Then you'll need a wide-angle lens. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Steve, why do you have to take every class I take? Because every moment we're apart causes me excruciating pain. That's funny. I get the same pain when we're together. <laughs> Hello, Kathleen. My God, what a great outfit. I just love that thrift store look. Thank you. And I love that beauty mark. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a big zit. <laughs> hey, want me to pop that baby? <laughs> well, then why aren't you in the wrong class? This is home ec. I know. I'm ready to bake, shake, whip, dip, chip, chop, and fricassee. Well, do you know how to cook? Not a stitch. <laughs> Admit it, Waldo. You're just taking home that because you think it's a Mickey Mouse course. Okay, there's a surefire D. <laughs> I heard that, Waldo. This is not a Mickey Mouse course. Now, I expect you to try your best. Okay, but I'll be lousy. <laughs> All right, class. This semester, we're... Stephen, you better get going. You're late for class. Oh, no, I'm not class. That's, that's not funny, Stephen. Oh, I'm not joking. <laughs> oh, what's cooking good looking? <laughs> oh, excuse us. Stephen, last semester, I specifically asked you what class you would not semester, and you told me home ec. Well, yes, I did. But here you are. It's not... <laughs> Well, fair, fair, buck up. It's only a few short months. Months? Oh, get a grip, Irene. <laughs> Laura, are you missing anything? I don't think so. Your watch. Mm -hmm. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. <laughs> it's not a race to the finishing line. Now I want you to slow down and organize. Slow down and organize. I got it. Good. You could have at least taken it out of the wrapper, Cassie Lynn. Are you saying I didn't bake this? <laughs> uh, listen up, Nubbles. If you want to pass this class, you're going to have to roll up your slants dirty like everyone else. Ew! <laughs> Voila. Waldo, what a turkey. Hey, you don't have to like my cooking, but please don't cook. Waldo, I was referring to the turkey that you cooked. It, it, it looks marvelous, but uh, Waldo, the assignment was to bake bread. I did. But I got done early, so I decided to make some stuff. And then I needed something to stuff, so I got myself a gobbler. Mm. Oh, it's marvelous. It's so moist and flavorful. Really, Waldo, this is superior work. I mean... Wow. <laughs> Could you write that A down on a piece of paper? I want to take it home and read it. <laughs> Stephen, it's not a good sign when you have to give your food a pep talk. No! Class can't be over. My bread's not done. Oh, it is done, Stephen. It's dead. 
I don't understand. Recipe, exactly. Mm. Could it be bad yeast? I don't know. But listen, now you tried as hard as you could, and I'm going to be generous and give you a C. A what? A what? A C. But, but I never, I never got less than, than an A. So? So I can't live with it. It'll ruin my transcript. Get a hold of yourself, Steve. I can't. I can't. Oh, the room is spinning. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Oh, my God, I feel stupid. <laughs> Eddie, what do you want? <laughs> A kiss would be nice. Eddie, in history? <clears throat> <clears throat> now... What did President Roosevelt say to Joseph Stalin at the Yalta summit? Kiss me, baby. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? America's yuckiest home videos. <laughs> No, no, Wanda, wait. Uh, listen, we can continue this someplace else. Someplace more romantic. I mean, like where? Like the garage. Great. You can go ahead and start without me. Uh, Wanda, wait. Mark, you'll run away from home before I get back. Wanda, wait. Please, baby, 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 don't go nowhere. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see what we shot so far. Uh-oh. Hey, don't look at me. I don't know you. <laughs> Today's assignment is poultry. Oh, my fryer's in the fridge, but I'm not happy with my grade in bread, so I'm baking a makeup lot. Oh, well, I admire your persistence. Oh, I think you'll also admire my new secret. What's that? I've invented new super active Earth yeast. Earth yeast? Rolls out the tongue, doesn't it? Yeah. You see, I can storm a seed of fungi uh -huh. and zest it with high concentrations just of Just bake it, my... Stephen, just bake it. <laughs> Chicken smells delicious. Who cares? My hands are rough, my hair is limp, dirt stain on my shirt. But you're learning to cook. Now, doesn't that make you feel wonderfully good about yourself? Oh, get a life. <laughs> Stick a fork in me, Miss Stupid. I'm done. Oh, wow, what a beautiful presentation. Mm. Now, you see what can happen when you slow down and take your time? Yeah, you get food you can actually eat. <laughs> And what is our Epicurean king cooking for us today? Goose on croup a la Waldo. Oh, magnifique. Oh, oh, and Waldo, thanks again for catering my dinner party last weekend. They like the poached salmon beurre blanc? They loved it. And the creme brulee? They raved. You know, Waldo, if you apply yourself, you have the talent to become a really great... Wow. I've never been good at anything before. Well, I can't play the top 40 on my armpit. <laughs> but your business is. Miss Dobby! It's a lie! Oh, it's my heart keys! It is, it appears the fungi has mutated and its mass is tripling every few seconds. Oh, oh let's pray it's not intelligent. Oh, what should we do?
Well, I am on my way to work. Oh, this won't take long. Read all you. Go ahead, sweetie. I'm a rotten slime ball. <laughs> Come here, Richie. Go to Come Uncle here. Carl. Now, you just calm down and tell your Uncle Carl why you're a rotten slime ball. I broke your new TV camera. Uh, it was you. Well, how did it happen? I dropped it. Richie told me he hasn't slept since it happened. And I told him he'd feel a lot better if he just told Well, you know something? Your mommy is right. You should always listen to your conscience. My conscience? Mm-hmm. That little voice that, that you're doing the right thing. <laughs> mommy, you're like a conscience, too. That's right, honey. Only you're a lot louder. <laughs> That's right. Now, don't you feel better having told Uncle Carl the truth? Sure do. Mm. And you know what? I feel better, too. Because I already... I was just waiting to see if you would come and tell me. Really? Mm-hmm. How'd you know? Well, let's take a look at the tape. Now, you see? <laughs> it is obvious that the cameraman was three feet tall. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and we ought his study habits. <laughs> I, I told the janitor about our little problem here. Is he coming? Uh, no, he opted for early retirement. <laughs> I see. Oh, I think he had the right idea, Stephen. I think I'm going to march myself to his office and turn in my spatula. <laughs> what are you saying, Miss Dubin? No, I'm... I just have to face the fact that as a teacher, I deserve an F. Bite your tongue, Miss Dubin. Oh, I already did that when I slipped. <laughs> You're a wonderful teacher. Oh, no, I'm a nervous teacher. Oh, God. Oh, I have a muscle in my forehead that will not stop jerking. <laughs> Miss Dubin, listen. You taught Laura to slow down and stop taking shortcuts. And you taught Cassie Lynn Nubble for useless people. <laughs> what it's like to do things for herself. And my God, Aldo, do you have any idea how you've changed him? Oh, well, I, I guess he has changed a little. A little? Why, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Waldo is swapping recipes with Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> you helped him discover a hidden talent. And now, thanks to you, thing that he didn't have before, self-respect. Oh, and... What about you, Stephen? Have I, have I taught you anything? Well, let me ask you something. What grade am I going to get? Oh, look around, Stephen. <laughs> I don't think an A is in the cards. I didn't think so. And that's what you taught me, Miss Dubin. Be less than perfect as long as you tried your best. Well, oh, actually, I guess that applies to me. Look, Miss Dubin, you just things out of a textbook. Why, you teach us things about life. Oh, do you really think so? Look, I know the pay is long and you hardly ever get the credit you deserve. But you're a teacher, Miss Dubin. And a darn good one. <laughs> oh, so so thank you so so thank you, Mr. Wow, <laughs> That's a pretty one. Who are you gonna give it to? Nobody. Judy gave me five for my car pound pots. How many are you giving out, honey? One to every boy of the class. Aren't you supposed to give just one to one? Yeah, and whatever boy answers, he'll be special. Why do people send Valentines anyway? I think it's yucky. People send Valentines to people they love. And when you love somebody, nothing's yucky. Dear Cupid's here! <laughs> then again, some people go too far. <laughs> oh! You can wait for Laura in here. 
Brian, you sure you don't want me to wait in the kitchen with you guys? Oh, no, 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 no. You stay right here and... Uh... I will. I'll be right here working my gherkin. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> what in Sam Hill are you on? <laughs> I came to see Laura. Is she here? Uh, no. She's in for the women's luge. Bye. <laughs> God. Oh. 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 Hey, hey, hey. You bet my pickle. Whoa. That outfit is quite a fashion risk. <laughs> Listen, Wallace. This costume represents Cupid, the Roman god of love. A mythological beneficent spirit who shot arrows of passion in a glorious attempt to bring two mortal hearts together. <laughs> now, don't you feel like a total yes? Yeah, but at least I don't look like one. Oh, that does it. Now I want you to make like a banana and split. Hey, I'm not leaving until I've seen Laura. I'm gonna ask her to be my Valentine. <gasps> Why do you what? I'm gonna sweep her off her feet. Laura's too smart for that. She knows you're a tomcat, a two-bit parlor snake. She'll drop you like a pair of dirty drawers down a laundry chute. <laughs> oh, really? Watch me in action. Laura will be putty in my hands. Oh, oh, Laura, my love. <laughs> Did you? Yep, that'd be me. Oh, <laughs> uh, Laura, you probably didn't recognize me. I... My myth knoweth her mythology. <laughs> With this box of petty fours also comes a heart that soars. My mind a nest with Cupid's arrow in thy breast. <laughs> oh, Laura, be my valentine, so I'll shine. We'll wing our way through life's sunset. Oh, Laura, won't you be my best? <laughs> uh, uh, Steve, you're in this poem. 84. <laughs> I'll save you 82 verses. Go home. <laughs> and uh, you can go with them. I do. Nothing, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Laura. Laura, I was hoping we could go out tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Maybe we could uh, catch a movie. Daniel, you don't have the greatest rep. You've broken a few hearts. This guy makes Warren Beatty look like Father Dowling. <laughs> Look, Laura, I admit that I've made some mistakes, but I've, I really want to go out with you. Why me? Uh, well, because you're not like any girl I've ever known. You're special. I am. Thank you. Oh, please! <laughs> you're buying this bull, Bucky? I can't stop thinking about you, Laura. It's making me crazy. Me. Yes. Yes. Now! I'll pick you up at seven. I'll be ready. The doorbell. <laughs> oh, you must be Daniel Wallace. Yes, sir. And you must be Laura's father. That's right. Carl Winslow. Police sergeant, Carl. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, sir. <clears throat> this is my sister-in-law, Rachel Crawford. Oh, uh, we've met. How are you, Daniel? Just fine, ma'am. I hope I'm not disturbing you fine folks. Oh. Installing this dimmer switch here. Whoa. You put that in yourself? That's great. I mean, I really admire a man who's good with his hands. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I'm not one to break, <laughs> but uh, I am a handy guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just last month, I uh, turned out bait. Wine cellar. That's what you call eight shoe boxes stacked on a car table. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Wow. 
You look beautiful. Oh, you both look great. Don't they make a terrific couple, Carl? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you kids go ahead. Be home by 10. 10? We'll have to come straight home after the movie. Oh, all right. 10, 15. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Mr. Winslow. After all, it's a school night. And uh, here's the name and number of the movie theater. Oh, and on our way home, we'll be passing the Piggly Wiggly. Can we pick you up anything? Well, we're out of Malamars. <laughs> well, never mind. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Since you're such a responsible young man, let's say we make it an 11 o'clock curve. Thank you, sir. Good night. Malamars. <laughs> oh, and uh, again, nice workmanship. No, craftsmanship. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Perfect. I'm really impressed. I mean, you install something that actually works. Well, of course. <laughs> now, Rachel, do you like the lights bright like this? Or... <laughs> or dim like this? Hey, Anna, why do you like my new polka video? Go home, Steve. Well, but why? We were having such fun. This night goes down in the hall of fun. Actually, I don't want lying like a rug. I'm not really the happy-go-lucky guy I appear to be. That's just my... <laughs> Actually, my insides are twisted in knots because my beloved is out with another man. Miserable than I've ever been in my whole life. Well, good night. <laughs> I had a great time, Daniel. Me too. You know, Laura, I think you're the prettiest girl I've ever known. See you tomorrow. I can't wait. Daniel Wallace. What? How can you go out with him? How he treated me. Max, Daniel admitted he made some mistakes, uh, but he's learned from them. And he really likes me, Max. That's the same thing he said to me just before he dumped me. Uh, Max, look, it just didn't work out between you two. Laura, there's something. The reason it didn't work out was because I didn't put out. Daniel respects me, Maxine. I thought he respected me, too, but when I told him he had a baby. Max, stop it. You're just jealous. I'm not. I'm your best friend. Well, then act like it and be happy for me. How can I be happy when I know what's going to happen? Daniel Wallace is a creep, Laura, and he's going to break your heart. No, Max. Daniel and I are doing just fine. Hi, Maxine. Hello, Mr. Winslow. Are you okay? Not really. Laura and I just had a fight. Oh. About what? List. Mm. You like him, too. That creepy jerk? Maybe you don't. <laughs> Mr. Winslow, mm -hmm. Daniel's falling for him. And then if he doesn't get what he wants, he dumps him. Just, just what is it that... You know. 
I... <laughs> Brother big guy. I came to say goodbye. I joined Brotherhood of Perpetual Patience and Prayer. Good old PPNP. Is this a vacation? A little R and R at PPNP? No, I'm going there to live. I've taken a vow of chastity. Oh, Steve, you've always been chaste. Yeah, but now I'm. Does this have anything to do with Laura? Ah, you can't pull the wool over your eyes, my son. My love found another man. And the only thing that can mend my broken heart are several years of prayer and making cheese. Hey, this is nice. I like your bedroom. Well, I... Bedroom. It's just a room. Sure, there happens to be a bed in it, but that's just a coincidence. <laughs> Daniel, well, when we were down on the ground, the idea of coming up here to talk seemed like a good idea, but now the takes, so let's go, okay? Laura, Laura, relax. Just relax, okay? If my father catches you in here, he'll dribble you home. <laughs> and I don't even want to think about what he'll do to me. Look, if it makes you that unconscious, leave, okay? You won't be mad? Of course not. I just want you to be happy. Did you have a good time? Terrific. Good. What's, what's the matter? Nothing. I just think you should go now. Oh, come on. Loosen up. Dan, you'll know. No? What you mean, no? <laughs> I thought you liked me. I do. That's why you're still standing. <laughs> Laura, you're acting like a baby. What did you say? Look, I'm a man and I have needs. <laughs> now, you're going to act like a baby or a mature woman? Maxine tried to warn me, but I wouldn't listen. Get out. Laura. Get out and stay out. I don't ever want to see you again. All right, fine. Look, catch this, baby. There are a lot of girls out there who would love to be with me. This is your loss. Yeah? Catch this, baby. <laughs> What's going on? I heard a noise. I just had a fight with Daniel Wallace. Wait a minute. Was he up here in your room? Yes. Oh, airmail. <laughs> he shouldn't have been up here in the first place. I know, Mom, and I'm sorry. He said he just wanted to come up here, so, but he really wanted to make out. He kept pressuring me, Mom. How'd you handle it? I made him leave, and I told him I never wanted to see him again. Well, you did the right thing, honey. I feel so bad, Mom. Come here, sweetheart. <laughs> said I was special. Special. But he was just lying so he could get what he wanted. I know, I know. Someday you're gonna meet the right guy. And he'll make you feel special, too. And he won't be lying. He'll really love you and you'll really love him. And then you know what will happen? We'll have sex. No! <laughs> you get married! Oh, well, well, sure. That, that, that goes without saying. What's the hint? I like to hear those words. I'm your mother. We'll get married first. Thank you. Oh, uh, Laura, where was I? I told Daniel I never want to see him again. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Laura, you're, you're vulnerable now. Your emotions are... Ex yeah. 
Well, I'm not too proud to try and get you on the rebound. <laughs> so, why don't you and I join hands and glide up the escalator of life? I'm sorry. But I'll tell you what I will do. Well, what's that? Well, in a few seconds it'll be me. I'll let you be my valentine for the rest of the day. Oh, 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 oh. You, you heard her! You heard her! You're my witnesses! You're my witnesses! Oh, oh, oh. Five. Ah. Four. Oh. Three. Uh. Two. One. Ooh. Zero, go home. Oh. 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 Thanks for the memory, baby. <laughs> I think we should definitely have one. Oh, oh great idea. I love it. <laughs> okay, business. Uh, no, it isn't, Cassie Lynn. I'd like to raise a few issues. Stay where it's on my spare time. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but I got my tongue stuck in the printing press. <laughs> Well, go on, don't let me interrupt you. Go on, continue the meeting. As I was saying, we need to elect a representative to go to the next school board meeting. What for? Oh, uh, well, this school needs better security lighting in the parking lot, more heat in the girls' locker, our handicapped access up to code. Oh, lighten up. <laughs> Stay in Oracle, must back time. Question, please. What is it? What? Winslow here has raised some timely and powerful issues. My avid readers would like to know what you, the student council president, intend to do. <laughs> Simple. And you from all further meetings. <laughs> Censorship. Expect a scathing editorial. <laughs> well, here's the fun. I decided to run for another term as student council president. Would anyone like to nominate me? Oh, oh, I nominate Cassie Lynn Nubble. And I second that excellent idea. <laughs> now, is there anyone suicidal enough to run against me? No? <laughs> well, okay. Is... Excuse me. Yes, beloved Principal Shimada. Cassie, Lynn, elections are like kissing. It's much more exciting involved. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Stay in Oracle, Muskrat Times. We know. I'd like to nominate. How about the lovely Laura Winslow? I second the nomination. Uh, wait a minute. I'm not sure about this. Laura, you're bright, you're articulate, and you obviously care about your... Oh, ugh. Personally, I think you'd make a wonderful candidate. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Laura, if you... You'll get creamed. Oh, really? I accept the nomination. All right! This meeting is adjourned. I'm here again, I'm the of our clear again. Well, sing a song of dear again. Happy days are... Ooh. Don't worry, Laura doesn't stand a chance. What are you talking about? She's smart and she's popular. You're right. She'll be tough. <laughs> well, let's not take any chances. Get some dirt on her. Laura? She's too goody-goody. Oh, come on. You mean she just played hooky or teased the football team? No, you're the only one that does that stuff. <laughs> car was broken into. What? Oh, oh my God. My kid's bike was stolen. Uh -huh. In broad daylight. Oh, my God. That's awful. Well, last night, a strange man pounded on my door all night long. <gasps> what did you do? Let him out. <laughs> Mrs. Putney, mother, this is serious. Okay, folks, as a veteran cop of 18 years, I can certainly tell you that crime is increasing all over this city. Well, you're right, you're right about this. Yes. We do about it. Yes. Well, maybe we can start a neighborhood watch program. Good, Good idea. idea. I like Great. that idea. Well, that's exactly why I called all you folks here tonight. Oh. <clears throat> if we're going to form a neighborhood watch, we must have a neighborhood watch leader. Well, you're oh, right. Exactly. 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 And exactly. this leader should have courage, yes. Oh, yes. wisdom, mm -hmm. and charisma. All right. And a uniform. 
So, I humbly suggest that our leader is none other than... Harriet Winslow. That's right. Thank you, Harriet Winslow. Harriet is perfect. Oh, she's had police training, and she works in security, and she's the smartest person I know. Yes, she is. You also know me. What, what's your point? <laughs> Sit down, Bernie. You know, Harriet is the perfect choice. She is. Yes, now what do you think? Exactly. Yes, please. Well, well, I'm a little on all, right. all right, let's all go down to the wild boar and toast our new leader. Right. New leader. <laughs> Carl, aren't you coming? How could you, Harriet? I wanted to be the watch leader. I mean, it was my idea for the neighborhood watch in the first place. Carl. I mean, I called the meeting of all the neighbors for the... I know, but I know that... I, I stuffed the celery, Harriet. You didn't stuff the celery, Harriet. I stuffed the celery. Why don't you stuff it now, Carl? <laughs> well, that's so mean, Harriet. Well, I want to know what you're going to do when you realize that you've taken on a job that you can't handle. I can handle the job. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, what, Carl? Okay, Harriet. Suppose you were attacked by a big thug and he just keeps coming at you. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Miss Neighborhood Watch Leader? What you gonna do? Come on. What you gonna do? Come on, Harriet. I'll do this, oh. Carl. Ah. Ah. on that Winslow witch? Sorry, but she's squeaky clean. Oh, what a bore. Laura, when you get elected president, can I be your first man? Steve? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I could hold you like this forever. You got one more second. Ooh. Becky Sue. Poor Laura has worked so hard and now she's gonna have to drop out of the race. What are you talking about? Well, we just got some very hot photos of you being passion here. What? But she just slipped and I caught her, that's all. Becky Sue, we should put those pictures in the school paper. Oh, that? Everybody would think that Laura's in love with Steve Urkel and no one would vote for her. <gasps> but I just caught her, that's all. That may be what happened, but that won't be what people believe. They just love juicy gossip. You wouldn't dare. Try 24 hours to drop out of the race or we publish this picture. <gasps> Why, you? <laughs> <laughs> Why, come back here, you little hussy. Hi, <laughs> woman. Hey, you hussy. What? <laughs> Will you calm down? Calm down? Why, that low-down, cheap, underhanded, mud-slinging, bush-whacking <laughs> is blackmailing you. <laughs> I know. To make everybody think that the woman I love actually loves me back? Why, how low can he? Well, I got a surprise for her. You do? Yep. She's so certain that I'm going to drop out of the race. Well, nobody pushes me around. I'd rather have the whole world think that I was in love with you than to cave into blackmail from her. Besides, that's things that need to be done at this school, and that won't happen as long as Cassie Lynn... Rock my world, baby. Now, if you notice any suspicious behavior, don't do anything. Just pick, and I'll notify the police. Got it. Okay, now we'll do a communications check. Come in, squad one. Do you read me, squad one? Hello, home. Click, chick, over. <laughs> Hot mama here. <laughs> Come back to me. Well, it looks like we're all set. All set? Give me a break. What is it, Carl? Uh, oh, nothing. Far be it for me to butt in after reader. If you have anything to say, Carl, just say it. Okay. Since you asked, I personally would move defenseless women out into the dead of night 
Especially when one of those women is 80 years old. 81? And if anybody tries to mess with me, they'll be on teeth. <laughs> Carl, I know better than to send two women out alone. You're on duty with me. What? I, well, why didn't you tell me? I posted the schedule, Carl. Well, I didn't see it, Harriet. Well, how did you miss it? It was right in your favorite spot. Where's that? The refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Come on, let's get this so-called neighborhood watch on the road. Wait, wait, I have to notify your team leader. Come in, Captain Funky Fresh. Time to move out. <laughs> Captain Funky Fresh is here. My team leader is a Funky Fresh. Listen, I want you to watch out for each other and be back here at 10 o'clock. That's when the Gordons take over. Okay. okay. I may work a double shift. Wendy Gordon is one neighbor I really want to watch. This promises to be a long, lousy night. Hey, Dad, can we patrol on skateboards? Not tonight, Funky. <laughs> vote for Nubbles. Wave bye bye to Carol. Will you vote for me? Sure. Here, have a locker sachet. I'm rich. <laughs> vote for Nubbles. Wave bye bye to Trouble. Right, you ready, Edo? Let's do it. Okay. A moment of your time, please, Nubs. <laughs> nubs? You and I have some unfinished business. <sighs> Later, nerd child. I've got to get to class. Take a second of your time. Do you still intend to publish those pictures of Laura and me if she doesn't drop out of the race? I most certainly do. Well, is there any way I can talk you out? Let me think. No. <laughs> Are you aware that what you're doing is morally repugnant? Well, sure. <laughs> All spirits. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. Didn't exactly move for me either. Are you out of your geeky mind? Oh, I don't think so. Well, I can see the headlines now. Nubble sucks face. You wouldn't. Would? You couldn't. Could. But it's a lie. You kissed me, I didn't kiss you. Well, that may be what won't be what the people believe. People just love juicy gossip. <laughs> I'm not dropping out of the race. All I want is a fair election. If you don't publish your pictures, I won't publish mine. You want the students to decide for themselves? An idea that's just crazy enough to work. It's a deal. I'm going to gargle with disinfectant. I'll do the same. It works! Way to go, Steve. See? She's not so smart after all. I'll say. If she was really smart, she would have noticed I forgot the... <laughs> Buddy, come on in. Thank you, Judy. Is your mother home? No. How... Yeah, he's upstairs clipping his toenails. <laughs> Could you please tell him that I'm here? Sure. Dad, Miss Penny wants to see you! Thanks, dear. <laughs> ah, Miss Putney, come on in. Can't wanted to drop off this pie that I baked for Harriet. Well, how thoughtful. Well, it's the least that I could do after what she did for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> she caught some creep breaking into my house. She did? Oh, yeah. He looked suspicious. She called the police and they caught him. That's great. We sure picked the perfect watch leader, didn't we? You must be so proud of Harriet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, her later. Okay. Your attention, please. Attention! <laughs> the election for student council president. Cassie Lynn Nubbles, 320 votes. Laura Winslow, 352. Laura Winslow is your new president. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, oh. Pardon me. 
Pardon me. Yes, sorry. Oh, lost my mind. Yeah. Lost my head. Mm -hmm. I won, Steve. I really won. See? Nice guys can finish first. I still don't understand why Cassie Lynn changed her mind about publishing that picture of us. Well, my tone princesses are so unpredictable. <laughs> Maybe Cassie Lynn has a shred of decency after all. I want to recount, you lucky little creep. Maybe not. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, Carl. Harriet, you look beautiful. Now, I've been patrolling the neighborhood. I'm tired and sweaty. Well, to me, you look like a goddess. Is this nonsense leading up to anything? <laughs> uh, Harriet, while you were out, Gloria Pudney stopped by. She brought you that homemade apple pie. That's nice. Sweetheart, you were the perfect choice for neighborhood watch leader. And you know something? She was right. I'm proud of you, sweetheart. But though I haven't been acting like it. You sure haven't. Can you ever forgive me? I know I've been acting like a spoiled a little boy. You forgot to mention obnoxious. No, I didn't. I just didn't think it was necessary to list all of my character traits. Carl, I didn't ask to be neighborhood watch leader. I was elected. All I wanted to... Sweetheart, you're doing a great job. It's just that you're good at everything. Job of all. Which is? Putting up with me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, honey. You can be the leader. Ooh, gee, thanks. And here is the prize of my baseball card collection. A Mickey Mantle rookie card in mint condition. Man. And I got two of them. Dang. Wow, there were two Mickey Mantles? <laughs> no, Waldo, there were only... Did they play on the same team? No, what he meant, Waldo... And most important of all, which one went home to Mrs. Mantle? <laughs> Meanwhile, back on planet Earth, Steve decides to talk to Eddie. <laughs> now, Eddo, I really need you to help Laura and me move along our relationship. Uh, I hate to be a downer, but you and Laura don't have a relationship. Contraire, Laura's frere. The lady's been flirting with me. She has? Oh, yeah. Just last week, she actually telephoned me in the middle of the night. Steve, your house... <laughs> Still, she did call. Steve, what do you want from us? Ten minutes of your time. I do feel, though, that your participation necessitates donning a costume. Oh, no way. Forget it. 20 bucks. I'm in. Me too. Hello, Bundura. I'm on the SGTV channel. I'm on the Shagotong. I'm in the Picachole. I'm on the Shagotong. I'm on the Gita LLV serial update me. Hotati, the fun phone code a boshi pot to be. Tar Bundu, Ajun Roche, Jezil Kana phone near the Abong Shikan take a pipan phone code a pot to be volley kiripoto. Amake, to Yerokum Korejil Nakatalu Patish. To Gita LLV Pichoni Amun Babi Nijakaral Korinidi. Jamitoko Shuti Burjun to Parlamna. To Shangamar Beta Hoichilu Mithimitam, Bolichilam Shotikor and Beakor Bushi Kiribo. In the Tikonokichu Manina Poddo. I mean, drink Korator Hatai to Horichilam. তার জন্য আমার স্থিরতা হানি নানা ভাবে আরো অনেক আইপিসি ধারা দিয়ে আমার সারাটা জীবন জেলে কাটাতে হবে আমি ভাবতে পারছি না কবে আমি বের হব কি বের হব না তুই এটা কেন করলি পড় তো আমার জীবনটা শেষ করতে তুই সবথেকে বড় স্টেপটা কেন নিলি আর আজকে তোকে আমি একটা কথাই বলতে চাই যে তোর এই বিয়ে নাটকে অগ্নিজিৎ মুখার্জি যাবে আর তারপরেই তো খেলাটা শুরু হয়ে যাবে কি করতে চাইছো তোমরা বলবে আমাকে না কারণ অগ্নিজিৎ মুখার্জিকে এমন ভাবে শাস্তা করব যেটা উনি বুঝতেও পারছে না আজকে তুই শেষ হয়ে যাবি তুই খুন হবি পদ্ম তোকে কেউ বাঁচাতে পারবে না সেই সমস্ত প্রস্তুতি নেওয়া হয়ে গেছে তার মানে মানে আমার বাবা লোক ফিট করে ফেলেছে তোকে একটু পরেই শেষ হতে হবে তুই আর বাঁচতে পারবি না শ্বাস নিতে পারবি না তুই দেখ না কি হয় তোর সঙ্গে তখনই পদ্ম কথা বলতে বলতে হঠাৎ করে পেছন থেকে একটা ছুরি এসে পদ্মর গায়ে আঘাত লাগে পদ্ম চিৎকার দিয়ে ওঠে কৃপান উপাস থেকে খুব খুশি হয়ে যায় যে আমাকে তুই বাঁচতে দিস না আমাকে এই জেলখানার বন্দি দশায় আটকে রেখেছিস এখন দেখ তুই কি করবি তুই তো কোনোভাবেই আর এই পৃথিবীর আলো বাতাস খেতে পারবি না 
তোর বড়বাবুর উপর প্রতিশোধ নেওয়ার পরে আমাদের দ্বিতীয় টার্গেট হচ্ছে গীতা এল এল বি ও খুব বার বরন্ত করেছে আমার এই কেসটাতে ও যদি নাক না গলাতো তাহলে হয়তো আমার এতটা শাস্তি হতো না তাই আমি তো ওকে ছাড়বো না অভিজিৎ মুখার্জি অনেক টাকা নিয়ে যেমন কেসটা জিততে পারেনি তেমন গীতা কেসটা জিতেছে তাই দুজনেরই শাস্তি প্রাপ্য তখনই সেখানে পদ্ম মাটিতে পড়ে যায় কোনোভাবে আর কথা বলতে পারে না কৃপাণ ফোন কেটে দেয় তার বন্ধুকে বলে ঠিকই আছে যেমন কর্ম তেমন ফল পাইতেই তো হবে পদ্মকে আর এই সব কিছু ওকেই খেসারত দিতে হবে কি হতে চলেছে গীতা এল এল বি সিরিয়ালের পরবর্তী টুইস্টে কৃপাণ পদ্মকে ফোন করে শেষ হবে জানালো সময় নেই হাতে পদ্ম কখনো ভাবতেও পারেনি তার এই অল্প একটু ভুলের কারণে এত বড় একটা শাস্তি তাকে কৃপাণ দেবে কিরণকান্তি ব্যানার্জির পুরো কেরিয়ার নষ্ট হয়ে গেছে পলিটিক্যাল এমন কি তাকে সবাই জোচ্চোর বাটপাট স্যাচোর বলে ডাকে আর এই সমস্ত কথা শুনতে শুনতে তার অবস্থাই খারাপ হয়ে গেছে তার ভবিষ্যৎ জীবন শেষ হয়ে গেছে তাই অগ্নিজিৎ মুখার্জি এবং গীতা এল এলবিকে কোনোভাবেই ছাড়বে না তাদেরকে শাস্তি দিতে যা যা করতে হয় সব পদক্ষেপ নেওয়া হচ্ছে এর আগে গীতাকে একবার শেষ করার পরিকল্পনা করেও গীতা বেঁচে গেছে কিন্তু এবার আর অগ্নিজিৎ বাঁচবে না কি ঘটবে জানতে চোখ রাখতে হবে আমাদের চ্যানেলে পাশে থাকা বেল আইকনটি অবশ্যই করে ক্লিক করুন